Have you been looking to start drop shipping on eBay, but you're not sure which software to use? Well, be sure to smash that like button because in this video, I'm gonna show you the three main software that you need to be using on your eBay drop shipping store in order to make it as easy and as automated or semi-automated as possible. And I know in the past, there's been a lot of talk about not using API related software. I will be going over that a bit, but we're also just gonna be talking about software that will not touch upon this whatsoever and will make your account safe to move forward with dropshipping in the future. And you will be able to avoid any potential flagging or issues with eBay in general. And also one thing to say, it seems like eBay has lessened up on trying to get accounts in trouble or anything like that for retail dropshipping. So we will be talking about retail dropshipping software in this video and also be sure to check down below if you want a free eBay dropshipping mini course to teach you how to get started as easily as possible. So be sure to subscribe to this channel also if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's go into my computer. All right, so here we are inside of my computer and let's go over the number one first software that you need to be using. You know, you can start dropshipping on eBay by doing everything by hand, moving items in and out of stock, changing prices. But if you are doing retail dropshipping, like Walmart onto eBay or Home Depot onto eBay, then you know it is going to be a lot of work as things do tend to go in and out of stock you know, quite frequently and change price a decent amount. So you want a program like SkewGrid. So back in 2018, the end of 2018, eBay started flagging accounts that were doing retail drop shipping using API related software. SkewGrid was the first one to move over to a non API related software. And there's two ways you can connect it. So to look into it when you're setting up your SkewGrid account, I teach this inside of my trainings, and it's going to be either through their file exchange Chrome extension, or just the file exchange token in general, I use the token method of repricing. It's much easier, I think, and it's a lot more consistent, but you know, you can use either or. I started off using the Chrome extension. So why SkewGrid? You know, first off, it, it reprices a bunch of different websites. You know, you could do eBay, you can drop ship with Amazon on it. Uh, it's, it's getting into Facebook Marketplace, Shopify, Etsy. There's a ton of them. Supported marketplaces all right here. Could have just scrolled down. Um, and there is a ton of different suppliers. So if you log into your account and actually look at the suppliers on the left-hand side right here, um, if you're in the US, which I'm assuming most people watching this video are, there is a lot. There's like over 450 different suppliers. So any of these suppliers you can sell on eBay and you know, SkewGrid can in and out of stock your items, check that website, scrape that website. And they do have a handful of wholesale suppliers that they've been adding in over time as well, which really makes it that much more powerful of a software if you wanna go the completely allowed wholesale dropshipping method. So not only that, SkewGrid is also extremely cheap. It's really, it's only like $15 a month for the cheapest plan. You don't need a very expensive plan in order to get started with SkewGrid. It's just very cheap in general. Like the tokens that you pay for are dirt cheap. And you know, it, it's just a powerful and just all around great software. One thing I can say about it is that it is slightly confusing to get started. There is a lot of trainings over here on the left hand side. They have some support, they have some decent support. But one thing I can say is that you need to be watching the trainings. And if you if you don't have some form of a course or anything just teaching you, you're gonna spend some time actually in the trainings, deep down inside of the trainings, learning them and really getting started with it. It could be a, a pretty steep undertaking when you first get started. They do have a YouTube channel as well, but it is something to look into. Uh, there's definitely easier softwares to get started with, but none of them are anywhere as close to as in-depth as Skewgrid is. As you can tell, this is just all of their US-based suppliers. No other software compares. Um, here's their UK, no other software compares. A lot of people talk about AutoDS. They only have like five or six different um, suppliers they support, maybe a little bit more now. But it, this is really what you wanna be um, using. And this is what all the people that are serious about dropshipping on eBay or Amazon are using. And you're, you're gonna see some results with it, I can tell you. It will take time to get set up, but the price and just how just overall just versatile it is, it is the best software out there. So that's number one. If you wanna get started doing it by hand, I know people have done it, they've, they've gotten a lot of items up by hand. Um, and it has a lister, skew fetch, um, it has a lot of stuff. So huge, powerful program, the best one out there. And also stay tuned until the very end because I will show you one extra bonus software and that's about it for SKU Grid. So let's go into the next one. All right, so here we are with software number two. And I forgot to mention with SKU Grid that pretty much there is a affiliate link down below if you wanna check it out. You will get uh, 20,000 free tokens, which is going up pretty, or credits. It's gonna, <clears throat> it's gonna do pretty well for you. Get you set up for at least a month when you first get started for free, and it's gonna help you out. So if you wanna check that out, I would appreciate it. Thank you. So also there's Zik Analytics, that's number two. These two are the most powerful, SKU Grid and Zik. 
So Zik is gonna be your product research tool. You can do everything by hand, like I said, with product research as well, but it's just not really worthwhile. It takes so much extra time and it's just not as efficient. Where with uh, Zik Analytics, I clicked on the pricing right here. You don't need anything more than the starter plan. You don't need the standard or the enterprise plan. Um, you can just get starter. If you pay for the monthly right now, it's $24 and usually it's $30. It's really not that much of a breaking of the bank. And for, for what you get out of it, it is by far the best product research tool for eBay. I don't know if there's any that really even compare. There used to be like three years ago, two years ago, but nowadays there really isn't much. So Zik Analytics pretty much took over the market and they're, they are the best and that's why they took over. So Zik Analytics, once you log in, there's a bunch of different things over here on the left-hand side to click on, but really all you need to know is the competitor research tool. And I have a bunch of videos on this. I can link them up above. Pretty much all you want to do is take your competitor that you know is drop shipping from whatever supplier you're looking at, say Walmart, Home Depot, or anything like that. And from there, you're just going to take their name, their eBay name, and put it in here and click search. And when you do that, it will show you how many sales they've had in the last 30 days, dollar amount, the amount of items they have, the amount of items, like which items have sold, how many times those items have sold. I have tons of videos on it out there. I'll probably make another one pretty soon about it. And that's really the power of it. You can scrape people's stores. You can really figure out what the best selling items are out there. And from that, you already know usually what supplier they're being sold from. And then that works hand in hand with SKUgrid because you can list them up. And then SKUgrid will do the pricing and the restocking of those items for you. So that's why they work so well together. They're by far the most um, powerful tool, I would say, two tools for your store. You know, the one that finds you the items and then the one that prices and stocks your items because you don't want things going out of stock. You don't want to be selling items that aren't in stock. You don't want to be selling items at a loss. Um, these two items work perfectly synergistically or software works syner synergistically together. And it's really the, the, you know, the power duo of eBay drops. I mean, I've been using these two programs now hand in hand. I've been using Zik for like three and a half years maybe, and skew grid probably for two years now, over two years. So they've they've tested the tail of time and you know they've they they've made it. So these two programs all together are like $45 a month. If you get like the most expensive version of it or like you don't get the discount that the Zik Analytics has right here. And $45 a month is very cheap to be able to run an online business that makes you thousands if you do it correctly. So let's move into software number three. Also, there is a link down below. I believe you will get $5 off your first month if you sign up through the link and then mention down here in the chat on in the bottom right, my face is covering it. You mentioned in the chat that you signed up through Ecom Tom's link. So let's move on to software number three at the moment. All right, so here we are with software number three and four. Number three is spot and paste. So by far, the first two, SkewGrid and Zik Analytics, I suggest that you do get them and I would go as far as say you need them. Some people might argue that, that you can do it without them, but even if you can do it without them, it's not worthwhile and it's not worth the headaches that you could possibly get because of you not putting setting up those two softwares or using those two software. Spot and paste, you could go without, don't get me wrong, but it's only like $15 a month and once you start rolling in sales, it will really take off and really help your business because all it does is it copies and pastes in your, your supplier or your person that buys the items from you their name, their email, and everything, and then paste it into the supplier's website. But the thing is, is that you can program it to any supplier and it's very easy to do so. And once you start making a ton of sales, copying and pasting everything by hand and switching back and forth between pages and everything like that, not only might screw up your cash back portals if you're going through cash back, it also is just a huge pain. Nobody wants to be doing that much copy and pasting. And for $15 a month, I can guarantee you spot and paste will save you a bunch of time. It's on Chrome. I also believe they might have Firefox. I'm not sure. Um, but you know, there is a lot of testimonials about it. It works for eBay. It works for Amazon. It works for a bunch of different um, forms of dropshipping. I think it integrates into Shopify as well and Facebook Marketplace, which we've been talking about a lot. I don't know what spot and paste light is. Maybe that is uh, oh, only using Amazon as supplier. Didn't know that was a thing. But for $15 a month, which I believe it is, um, it's definitely a great tool to be having. You can look into exactly what it does and exactly how it works. In trainings, I teach inside of my course as well. And it's definitely by far the best program out there for copy and pasting. I don't think there's too many other competitors. Again, they took over the market and they're the one. So that's it for a copy and paste tool. I, I think you need it. You really do, but some people might argue that. And if you're not doing that many sales, it might not be worth it for you right away. But I do think like SkewGrid and Zik Analytics are necessary. And there is a link down below. Again, each one has a link. This one I believe is 10% off 
for the lifetime. Um, so you'll get like a dollar fifty off every single month if you sign up through the link down below. So let's go into number four here. And TrackerBot, I'm not just saying it because I'm on the cover from like a couple of years ago of their homepage uh, from one of their ads they ran. But no, they are a great tool and you know they're very helpful in the fact that they they upload your your tracking numbers for you again this might be something where somebody says it's not that necessary and i i you can you can come up with that yourself i personally do use it i use the non-api version just because i don't want any api related software connected to my ebay account if you have any questions about that it's been something we've been going over for a couple of years now i'll link a video up above um but Pretty much, it just helps you. If you're using Amazon, which I've suggested not to dropship Amazon on eBay for the last two years now, it will do the Blue Care Express if you still wanna go that way. Um, I, I don't do that, I highly don't suggest it. But also, they're adding new um, new suppliers all the time, and they're really, um, you know, it, it's really just a great, consistent software. You know, there's really no complaints with it. It does what it does um, very well, and, and that's, Really what I have to say about it, it's cheap. I believe it's only like $15 a month. It works well, and there's really no reason not to have it. Again, if you're not doing that many sales, it might not be worthwhile to get. If you are doing a decent amount of sales, again, it's $12 a month, so it, it's really not that much. Altogether, these software, these, these programs are like $75 a month max if you wanted to. Or, I mean, SkewGrid does get more expensive over time if you want it to, but when you first get started, it's like $75 a month. There's no other business out there that you can get started for $75 a month and be able to make the potential money that you can with eBay dropshipping. So don't even try to find workarounds or say that that's too expensive. If it's too expensive, um, you know, you can work by hand, but again, programs and software like this are going to help you out in the long run and there's no doubt about it. So I believe I do have a, a an affiliate of some, th some sort down below. So click on that link. I forget what it is, I'm sorry. but. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you're a beginner, this is what this video was for the beginners out there. Again, check out the free eBay dropshipping mini course that I do have below. You know, it, these are the programs that you need. These are the base programs that I've been using on my stores for the last two plus years. Ever since eBay started flagging people for using other types of softwares, these programs haven't changed. Two years strong, you know, I, I don't see any reason why it's not three to four more years. It, it is exactly what you need to be doing and this is, this is these are the programs. So. Hopefully you take action. If there's any other ones that I missed that you think are important, then let me know down below. Um, but, or you know, maybe don't because you, you might want to keep them a secret for yourself. But either way, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.